Peter. Interesting. Hey everyone, welcome back to Openly Beta. Today I'm playing What Remains of Edith Finch, as it says right there. I remember hearing a lot about this game, but honestly I have absolutely no idea what it is. Is this the... Oh, is this just the game? I thought this was like a menu. So I'm on a boat. Interesting. Um, yeah, I know. I literally know nothing about this game. Um, I remember hearing a lot about it, but I'm not sure why. Oh, I've got flowers. Edith Finch journal. So I've I haven't played any of this game. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Ooh, okay. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. That's actually really cool, because I was like... I'm Someone gonna... had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll, I'll do the annoying thing and go behind me and see what's there. But there actually was stuff there to look at. This is immediately really, really interesting. I lived here until I was 11. But I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's a very interesting house. <laughs> uh, what do I press? R1. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. My brother Lewis's funeral. Okay. This is all very pretty. I wouldn't mind living there. Will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Hmm, can I go either way? I want to go down for some reason. This way's cooling to me. Ugh, I mean, I'm going to go on a massive a massive tangent here, but I, f I feel like this is just going to be a perfect example of... The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Of how I'm never going to finish a single sentence in this video. Because I don't want to interrupt any of the storyline that's immediately interested in me. I was just going to say, I think this game is going to be a really cool example of how um, you can do things in the gaming medium. Or you can you can tell stories in the gaming medium that you can't do in other mediums. The interactivity really adds to it. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. Like, I wouldn't have found out about her brother if I'd... about to say something, but never do made the choice to go back and look at that poster. I'm wondering if going up the other way would have told me different things. It's all very interesting. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. Insane? <laughs> that house should not be up. So yeah, I could have come that way and got the same way. I'm glad I went through the little foresty bit. There's like a little swamp down here. Is she Shrek? Right. 
Let's see. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. It'd make me uncomfortable. It's gonna fall down. Did they get planning permission for this? Did the council say this was okay? Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Hmm. Is it annoying if I don't go the way that I'm kind of clearly supposed to go to look for secrets? I feel like I'm supposed to look for secrets. Or maybe this is the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I feel like the front door would have been locked and I was supposed to go that way, but I didn't even check the front door. I just crawled straight through the doggy door. That's how I get in anywhere. If your house doesn't have a doggy door, I'm not coming in. I like the voice actress. She's got a very, like... I don't really know how to describe her voice. But it's interesting to listen to. I like how you hold R1 to interact with things, and then you use the left analog stick to like move the thing in that direction. This is a pretty creepy house. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Hmm. Man, he was twelve. So do you been? He went missing when he was four, right? She said that was him. So he'd just been on his own for like eight years. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Wait, hold on. Lewis works at the cannery? Wait, he wasn't 12? I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's not 12 years. That's 22 years. So is he the one who went missing? Did he come back? That's just an old missing poster. I guess so. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like yeah. a smile, too many teeth. Ooh, I like my that. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh, Milton went missing when he was four, not Lewis. Okay. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Something is very wrong with that door. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Hmm. That's pretty creepy. Homeschooling essentials. Look, see, like, there's stuff here I'm being told. I mean, if this was a, a movie, I wouldn't know that they were homeschooled. Unless, unless they weren't, and they've just got a book for everything, because they do, in fairness. But I'm going to pretend they were homeschooled. Um, there's a lot to interact with, I'm liking this. That way. Look, I'm like, I'm doing it. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Jesus, that's impressive. Oh man, I'd love to have these bugs on the wall. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Hmm. I thought that ambient music box was gonna stay. Can't the open any of the boxes. Had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Huh. So this was like a nice manor house before. Oh, all the words went up the fireplace. And then they built on top of it and turned it into some sort of weird monstrosity. It's a creepy wind coming from in there. Right. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. What happened that night? It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. They had Chinese. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Wow, this has just been completely left. Like, what did Edie do? 
Did she just stand up and leave, Kaiser Soze style? How'd she leave her chair there? Right, okay, I've been in here. That is a lot of salmon. <laughs> Up the stairs it is. Man, there's so much detail to this house. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Jeez. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Is it like... I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Is it like every time a new, um... Finch? Is that their surname? Any time one of them's born, they just build an extra room onto the house. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. It's not gonna work. If it does, that'd be pretty boring. <gasps> it does work. Is that all the key was for, for this book? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Okay. That makes much more sense. Up. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Okay, but first, <laughs> I've got to go this way. There's a lot to this house. Oh, is is this just gonna be? The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten, and she was painting my portrait. It's like a really crazy family. Oh, it's so I weird. I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. <laughs> it's very interesting. Ooh, eleven. Grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Jeez, it's pretty intense. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Huh. Barbara Finch, little movie star. Can I get Mom up here? Third floor stairs on the night we left. Oh, it's so weird. Man, I low-key would love to live in a house like this. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Got some cool names. Like Barbara. So she's the movie star one. I'll decorate my. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Go her room. She's got a little cardboard cut of her with Bigfoot. Man, I wish my house had like stupidly cool painted doors. I wonder what these dates are as well. 1944 to 1960. Is that just when she lived there, or did she die at 16? What's this one? Ten, because they're all like really low dates. Surely they didn't Molly all just die children. Like I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Maybe she did. Maybe I stand corrected. Man, poor old Molly. Right, let's crawl through. Let's advance. That's pretty Maybe creepy. It sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. <laughs> Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. If I'm gonna find like a person still living in the house somewhere. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oof, that's creepy. So I, I guess that's Molly. I had spent a lot of time here. Oh, she's like dissected a starfish. She's got a nice view. Okay, let's. let's 
Let's read this. Molly Finch. December 15, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh God, it's like the never-ending story. It's a story within a story. Very foggy outside. Let's go to fish. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Oh my god, she was so hungry. This is not a good mum. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. <laughs> she actually ate it. That's really funny. I see him I can't get out this way. Hmm. Pumpkin. My Halloween candy was all gone. No, it is this way for us. Oh god, is she gonna die somehow? I kept eating and eating. Is that toothpaste? I hope it's not anything worse. I ate a lot of things that night. Yeah, this is going to be how she died, isn't it? Right, I can't drink out of the toilet, so that's good. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Don't eat the bird. And suddenly... What the hell? Well, I was not expecting this turn of events. Where do I go here? Oh, I do. I do jump across. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Hmm. I mean, I haven't played many uh, cat-themed games, but this really does feel like I'm controlling a cat. Oof, nearly got it that time. Alright, come here, you bastard. Where to now? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. They're just completely still. They're not even moving. Well, that's weird. I don't like it. This way. Come on, you can't go forever. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Where'd she go? There she is. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Hmm. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. He didn't say anything about not climbing it as a cat, though. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. This is an absolutely insane girl. I did I didn't expect this from this game. Right, little teeth nibbling in the grass, where are they? Rabbits. I don't want to eat the rabbits. I got it though, first time. Jesus. This guy's pretty intense. Uh, 
this is what happens when you lock your kids in a room without dinner. They go insane. Is a mama rabbit much bigger from a a normal rabbit? I got her. She was almost too big to get here. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. <laughs> oh my god, shark. Oh my god, this is so funny. This is me. It's so derpy. Look at it go. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I wanted fat, juicy seals. You're gonna get him, don't you worry. go. I can follow her blood. I love how at the beginning she's like, yeah, Molly's the sort of girl I could be friends with. It's like, no, she's insane. <laughs> you should not be hanging out with people like this. Am I an octopus or an eel? I thought it was an eel, but now I'm starting to think I'm an octopus. See, I've got to pull myself along. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people ugly. So now she's eating people. It's getting less and less innocent as it goes on. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Jeez. Oh, he got eight. Right, I think I want to keep going up this way. Yeah, this looks right. Get to the highest ground. This is a really weird monster. It's really cool to control actually. I am pulling myself along. This guy's all drunk. I didn't even mean to eat that guy. He just got in my way. Now this guy. Got a very vivid imagination. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Considering she's come up with this completely new and original monster on her own, and now I can just now I don't have to pull myself along, now I can just slide. Through the pipes we go. <laughs> oh that was weird. I got closer and closer. It's her. I'm in her room. <laughs> Do I have to go up here? No, maybe this way. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was being.
Oh, that is incredibly intense. I would leave the house if I read that. I would be like, what the hell? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm <laughs> sure Edie would have. Yeah, I don't think I'd believe all that. So where am I? Am I? I'm Edith, right? Yeah. So Molly's my... Dawn's my mum. Or is... This is really weird. So is Gus my... Grandad. Sam's my great granddad. And then... Molly is... One of those descendants. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, close that. Tree isn't clear enough. Unless I'm just being an idiot. Uh, well, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, it's been an education. This game has been really weird. Sorry if I've been completely speechless the whole time, but... I didn't know what it would be, and it was really fascinating. I didn't want to hear so much of the story. Uh, yeah, I, I might come back to this and play more of this on camera. Um, it's really cool, actually. And I'm genuinely interested in a lot of the story. Really interesting and unique. Um, I'm liking it a lot. And there's that cat. And this is obviously the next part. So before this begins, I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. That was What Remains of Edith Finch. Really interesting. I'd, I think I'd recommend picking this up. Not sure how much it is. Um, but, you know, uh, it's, it's not like triple A price, I don't think, so, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna enjoy seeing where this goes. So, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.